Hi everyone, we are really happy to be with you on this Tuesday. We wanted to share a scripture from you, uh, for you from what Jesus said in John chapter 14. He said this, They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them. Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Obedience. Obedience is really not so much something we owe God and Jesus, but it's some, a seed we sow for having a relationship with God. Jesus is going to do what is true to his heart. And for us to spend time with him, we have to join him in his works of justice, in his works of compassion, in his works of witness to God's great grace, that we might be relie uh, released and relieved from our feelings of guilt and despair and discouragement, uh, impotence in the challenges of life. So when we do what he asks, it's a way to spend time with him. When I was a little boy in elementary school, I had a crush on this girl uh, in third grade, and you can see what kind of girl I like. She liked to watch Combat, which was the show about <laughs> uh, fighters in World War II. And I wasn't with her in the evening, but whenever Combat was out on, I watched it because I knew she was watching it at the same time. So when we do what Jesus loves to do, it's a way to spend time with Jesus, and it's a way to nurture our relationship with Jesus, and a way to get to know him even better. And where two or three are gathered, there the Lord is also. And so when we are with other people, it's just wonderful to know that he's present with us, that we're not there alone, that he's joining with us. So as we're with um, a, a parent of a child who is really struggling with being a parent and balancing work, Jesus is there and we're honoring Jesus by loving on that parent and allowing that parent to share. When we're with the elderly person that body just isn't working like it used to and they're just struggling so Jesus is present there and helping us to bring compassion and maybe warming that person's heart and giving them encouragement so life is a journey that we don't do alone we do it with the Lord and we nurture that relationship when we join him in that and join others with him in doing that so we're praising and thanking God that we get to join with you in this life together God bless you have a great rest of the week, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.